Hey Nerdy Knitters, in this video we're looking at three ways to decrease on a purl row or if you have a textured fabric you might just need to decrease in purl stitches. So these three are the purl two together, the purl two together through the back loop, and the slip slip purl or SSP. They produce right and left leaning decreases on the right side of the work even though they might be worked on the wrong side. So we'll look at those and how you might want to use them in the video. If you want to jump to any point in the video, use the timestamp links in the video description box down below. Now the most simple is probably the purl two together. Like the knit two together, we're going to insert as if to purl, but not into just the first stitch, into the first two stitches, just like that. I've inserted right to left into those two stitches, wrap my yarn, and purl them together. That's a purl two together. We've taken two stitches and decreased them into one stitch. Let's do that again. I'm going to insert as if to purl, but I'm going to insert into two stitches. Wrap the yarn to purl them, pull it through, and I have decreased right there. Now, that one produces a right slant. We'll look at that in a second. To match that slant, we have two options. The first one's called an SSP. And when you're decreasing and slipping stitches, you always slip them knitwise. That means you insert as if you're going to knit, slip it, insert into the next stitch as if to knit and slip that. And now we can purl them together through the back legs of the stitches. This is where it gets a bit tricky. We've rotated the stitch mount, so now the right leg is in the back. And to insert into the back leg, we have to turn it and come like from this direction, just like that. But not just into this first stitch. We need to come through both stitches. So you might have to move around, insert, make sure you're in both those stitches, purl them together. And that is an SSP. Oops, split my stitch right there. That's better. Let's do that one again too. Okay, so we slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, move them back to our left needle. We need to purl them together, so bring the yarn to the front because we're going to purl and insert through the back legs of those stitches. Purl them together. Now it is possible to skip slipping those stitches and just purling them together through the back loop. Let's see what that looks like. But what that does is it twists these stitches, slipping them first and then purling through the back loops, keeps them in the proper stitch mount. But if you don't care about that and you just wanna purl them together through the back loop to get a left slanting decrease, you can certainly do that, but just know that it will twist your stitches. So let's take a look at these on the front of the work. If we were gonna work those in stockinette on the wrong side row, right here we worked purl two togethers, right there. You can see that they slant off to the, to the right on this side of the work. And then over here, we have two decreases that slant off to the left. So if we wanted to mirror our decreases, we would work a different one at each end, a right leaning at one end and a left leaning at the other. And that's all there is to working decreases on a purl row. If you like to get nerdy with your knitting, click the subscribe button down below.